the Car Patrol. It's another night in Car City. All is quiet and everyone's asleep. Hey Amber, is that your siren? Uh -huh. Then why isn't it on your head? You'd better call the car patrol. Hey, Car Patrol, Amber's in trouble. Someone's stolen her siren, and they're waking up the whole neighborhood with it. Great idea, Matt. Follow the sound of the siren, and you'll find the thief. Which way? Left or right? Hector, Matt thinks the noise is coming from the playground. It sounds like you're getting closer to the thief. Wait, the sound has stopped. Maybe you should check out the playground anyway. It seems the thief's not there, is he? Hey Hector, Matt and Frank didn't find the thief, but maybe you'll have more luck. There's the thief, Hector. Let's warn the others. Matt, Frank, Hector spotted the thief. He's driving away over here. Uh-oh, the thief has spotted Matt. But he didn't see Frank coming. <laughs> He's been caught. Well, well, well. It's Tyler Tyke who's behind this. Huh? It's no use trying to get rid of the evidence, Tyler. You're under arrest. <laughs> Here's Amber just in time to get her siren back.
That's right. Since Tyler likes sirens so much, he'll enjoy his journey to the police station. Great teamwork, Car Patrol. You found the thief and got Amber's siren back. Time to go back to bed at last. Good night, all. It's the Car Patrol. Car City is safe with Matt and Frank keeping an eye on things. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Frank seems to be warning Matt about something. Oh, there's a brick in the road. And now Matt's got a puncture. He won't be able to patrol the city with a flat tire. Frank? Hmm? Maybe you can use your hook to take Matt to Tom the tow truck's garage. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, mm -hmm. aren't you forgetting something? Mm -hmm. You should remove that brick so no one else gets a puncture. Mm -hmm. Great. That's strange. Tom's got a lot of customers today, and they all seem to have flat tires, just like Matt. It looks like they might have driven over the bricks and damaged themselves too. Let's hope Tom can fix Matt quickly so he and Frank can start investigating. Sorry to bother you, Tom. You look very busy today, but Matt really needs your help. He's driven over a brick that was left in the road and now he has a puncture. Uh -uh. Matt and Frank need to find out who's behind this and put a stop to it as soon as possible. Is there any chance you can fix him next? <laughs> you can go in now, Matt. That's it. Take it nice and slow. Now it's time to put on a new tire. Thanks so much for fixing Matt quickly, Tom. And thanks to all of you in the queue, too. Now Matt and Frank can go and find out who's been putting all those bricks on the road. Hey, there's Ben the tractor. He might know something about the bricks. Maybe you should go and ask him. Ben doesn't know anything about the mysterious bricks, but he's given you a clue. Ben's waiting for Flavy the flatbed truck and Edgar the excavator to deliver some bricks so he could have a wall built. I think you're on to something. Let's go and find them. Thanks for the information, Ben. There's Flavy and Edgar but they don't have any bricks to take to Ben. Maybe they dropped them on the city's roads. Let's ask them. Someone stole the bricks? Don't worry, guys. Matt and Frank will find the thief. Whoa! That was a close call. Mm. Seems like whoever stole Flavy and Edgar's bricks purposely planted them around Car City. 
But who would do such a thing? Oh, should have known. It's Tyler Tyke. He's usually up to no good. You've been caught, Tyler. We know it was you who stole Flavie and Edgar's bricks and scattered them around the city. It might have been fun for you, but it hasn't been fun for anyone else. Good idea, Matt. Tyler needs to learn his lesson. Maybe he should be made to gather up all those bricks and give them back to Flavie and Edgar. Frank's absolutely right, Tyler. You should help the construction team fix the damage to the roads, too. You did a great job, guys. Now Car City is safe again, and Flavie and Edgar will get their bricks back, which means Ben will finally get his wall built. <laughs> Here, there seems to be something wrong with Pickle today. Hey, Hector, have you noticed? Pickle seems lost. Hey there, Pickle. Hector's been watching you drive all over the city. What's happening? Mm. You got lost trying to deliver some materials to the construction squad? Mm. All the road signs seem to be pointing in the wrong direction? Mm. Follow Hector to the headquarters, Pickle. Matt and Frank need to know about this. Frank, we need you. Hector found Pickle lost in Car City. It seems there's a problem with the road signs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hector says he can show Pickle the way to the construction site while you guys investigate these confusing road signs. Mm -hmm. What have you seen, Matt? Pickle was right. Someone turned the road sign around. 
The hospital sign is the wrong way around too. You'd better catch up with Frank and start searching the city for whoever's turning these signs around. Frank's seen something suspicious. It's Tyler the Tyke. He's meddling with a sign for your headquarters. Looks like the car patrol has a plan for trapping Tyler. That's right, Tyler. You've been seen messing with that road sign. Aha! You're not getting away that easily, Tyler. What a great day's work. You guys are the best. As for you, Tyler, well, the only signs you'll be looking at for a while are the ones inside the headquarters. Hi, Christopher. Mm -hmm. Hi, Steve. Mm -hmm. mm. See you two later. Maybe when the cement is dried. Uh-oh, I hope those baby cars don't drive into Christopher's wet cement. Hey kids, be careful. Don't panic. We just have to get you out of that cement quick before it dries. Great, your friends have gone to get help from the car patrol. One at a time, kids. Don't worry, Matt and Frank have a rescue plan. It's okay, kids. The car patrol's here to rescue you. What's the plan, guys? You're going to spray the cement with water so it turns to liquid again? What are you going to do next, Matt? I hope you're strong enough to pull the babies out of that cement. Oh. 
Wow! What strength! Well done, Matt! Now it's time to clean you up, little one, while Matt rescues your buddy. Come on, you can do it, Matt. Good job. Hey, here come Christopher and Steve. Frank's right, Christopher. You don't have to worry. The babies are okay. Mm -hmm. But maybe next time you could put up some warning signs? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the apology. Matt and Frank will put some cones around the cement for you, if you want to redo your work. Mm -hmm. It's just like new again. That's better. Hello, Jerry. Taking a nap before the race? Right, but it's time for you to go now? What's wrong, Jerry? Oh my, Jerry. Someone stole your wheels. Hello, Charlotte? Good, you're awake. It seems that Jerry's having trouble starting to drive. Okay, guys, everybody stay calm. Charlotte, Will you go to the police station and warn Matt, Frank, and Hector? Mm-hmm. Jerry, you stay here until we come back with the car patrol. Matt, Frank, Hector, this is an emergency. Jerry's tires have been stolen. He can't move anymore. And Jerry has a race at the end of the day. We must find his tires and get them back. Please help us. Let's go, friends. Jerry, the others are coming. Don't worry, the car patrol will help you. Guys, Hector says he'll tow Jerry to Tom's garage 
while you're looking for the tires so that Tom can put them back as soon as you find them. Great. Ready to launch, everyone? Then go, Hector. Don't worry, Jerry. Matt and Frank are the best. They'll get your tires back in no time. What is it, Matt? What is it, Frank? Wait a minute. This car seems to have many tires. Is the thief hiding in that bush, Matt? What are you going to do? Oh, I see. It looks like this bush is very thirsty, isn't it? Why don't we water the bush, Frank? Stop it, Tyler. There's nowhere to run. Matt and Frank caught you. Give us back the tires, Tyler. Jerry needs them. Here is Hector. Just in time to help us bring the tires back to Jerry. Right, Matt. While Hector and Frank will bring the tires back to Jerry, you'll bring Tyler to the police station. Goodbye, friends. And now, Hector, you can take the tires and bring them back to Jerry. Here are your tires, Jerry. All that remains is for me to wish you good luck for the race, Jerry. Thank you for your help, Tom. Thank you very much, Frank and Hector. And please thank Matt for us. Goodbye, friends. Super truck. Hi, Hector. Mm -hmm. Hi, Francis. Mm -hmm. Are you picking up that container of medicine to bring to Amber at the hospital, Hector? Wow! There must be a lot of medicine inside. Are you sure you'll be able to lift it? I guess you won't know until you try. Mmm. Mmm. Steady, Hector. Just go nice and slow. Careful. Yikes! That container's moving quite a bit. Look out! Hector, are you okay? Don't worry, Hector. We'll get help. You're mm -hmm. right, Francis. Mm -hmm. This is mm -hmm. a job for Super Truck. Someone in Car City needs your help, Super Truck. Wow, you're in your cave, ready to transform. There are so many vehicles you could transform into, Carl. But I'm sure you know the one that's needed for the job.
Now it's time to take off, Super Ooh. Truck. How are you doing, Hector? Can you wait here for a minute while Super Truck delivers the medicine? Wow, Super Truck, you're so strong! Hi, Amber. Mm -hmm. Here's the medicine you were waiting for. Ah. Mm. We need to mm -hmm. rush back and get Hector. He's had an accident and he needs medical attention as soon as possible. Can you help when we return? Mm -hmm. Okay, Hector, mm. time to get you to the hospital. <laughs> Don't worry, Hector. Amber is waiting at the hospital <laughs> to help. We're off to the hospital, Francis. Thank you for calling Super Truck. Here's Hector, Amber. He's in bad shape. Don't worry, Hector. This will make you all better. There. You'll be up and about in no time. Thanks, Super Truck, for bringing the medicine to Amber so that she could heal Hector. Goodbye, everyone. See you next time.